left a dozen roses on your grave today. I'm in the grass on my knees, wipe the leaves away. Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you uh, how to make blackjack in uh, Visual Basic 2010. Uh, first off, you want to open up um, Visual Basic and create a new project. I'll name it Blackjack. So resize your, resize your form and then go to your properties. And we'll name the name FRM Blackjack. And name the text Blackjack as well. You can also add icons beside your name up in the right hand corner. So I'm just going to do that, and I'm going to put this one here. You do need a certain converter to change them to an icon file. And I'll put the link in the description. So first off, you want to go to your toolbox and add a button. Go to properties, and we'll name the name BTN Draw Card. For the name, by the way, you can't have like um, dashes, you can't have spaces, or any of that, or it'll just come up and tell you it's an error and it won't let it. And we'll name the button draw card. So now we'll put five labels. You can just uh, control C on it and then paste four times. And then line them up beside each other. So now you can highlight all of them, go to the properties, and we'll change the visible to false. We'll go up, we'll also change the auto size to false, and we'll change the blur style to fixed 3D. So now we want to resize them as like a card shape. So once you got one resize, you can take the others and you can just connect them to the border of the first one that you made. By the way, this isn't going to be a one tutorial thing because it will be it'll take way too long and YouTube doesn't allow me to upload like an hour of video, so I'll it'll be in parts. So once we got this all set up the way you want it, it doesn't have to be like this, you can have the cards anywhere you want, but I'm just doing this for now. So now we want it to select one card, and we'll name it LBL card 1, and we'll take the text, and we don't want text in it, so we'll just take that out, and just do that for all of them. So once you get that done, we'll go into the draw card property here. So double click on your button, and I'll bring you to the coding area. And now you want to select between private sub and public class, and we'll name, we'll make a dim counter as integer equals zero. What this does, it will declare the word counter and assign it to a di uh, an integer so it can hold a number. So now inside your private sub we'll put, we'll declare um, all the cards, so dim card one as integer because they're going to hold numbers.
Alright. And if you guys want to, you can also put comments in, which I would recommend if you're new to Visual Basic. And you just put um, this, and then you'll put like, this will declare the curve um, as an integer. So you just do that so if you do go back and you forget what you were doing, it will the comments will uh, briefly tell you what you were doing. So <clears throat> so next you want to put an if statement. So if counter equals one. So if the button is pressed once, because it'll add to that counter, then we want to make we want to take whatever the value of the text box is in, and then we want to put it into the card integer that we just created. So, what we'll do is first we need to give um, card a value. So, card one equals 10 times random, close two brackets, plus one. What this does is every time the player presses the button, it will randomly generate a number between 1 and 10. Alright, so now we want to do our label. We want to give a label card1 the property of the card, so dot tx t equals card1. So now put counter plus counter plus one. So what this says is it, it takes counter here and equals counter plus one. So it's just adding one to the counter. F5 to run that or click the play button. And before we do that actually, below this here we'll put LBL card one dot visible equals true. So we can actually see the card. forgot to put some up top here, counter equals counter plus one. If we don't have that, you'll see you see what happened there is when I press the button nothing happens because counter's not getting a value of one. So if counter doesn't equal one, this doesn't happen. So press F5 to play that and you get a value of eight. So now if you notice if you run that again and press card, you get the same value over and over. And this is because this is just getting a random number and it doesn't have a root uh, randomizing it so what you want to do at the very top here we'll put randomize and close your two brackets so this just takes these this bracket here and puts a random number into it so now if we run this again it gives us 10 if we run it again it gives us 8 it'll just be it'll be random every time so so now once that's done we'll put another if statement, so if counter is 2, then, and so on and so on. Five times. So I'm going to pause this and I'll code this, and basically you just take, the, you just replace card 2 with card 1 and then label card two dot text and so on. So when that's done there. All right guys, so <clears throat> as you can see here, I took out this here because I noticed when I went to uh, play it here, I'll show you. What happens is when you press the jaw card, it pops up with those buttons, and we don't want that, so just take this out of each of the statements. And your code should look like this. And when you press F5 to run, you get your all your cards here. Make sure to change these here, because I didn't, and it gave me uh, zeros as you see. And there. 
So the next tutorial, I'll show you guys how to uh, put more buttons in, play again, uh, reset all those, and add music and all that. So I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. I just came to talk for a while, got some things I need to say.